see we have already discussed till existence check all right next one is table lookups the 12th one is the table lookups now table lookups it is similar to your existence check now let's look at what definition the CISA review manual has provided for existence check and table lookups you will find that you know both the uh, both the definition are kind of similar in existence check they say that the data are entered correctly and agree with valid predetermined criteria for example a valid transaction code must be entered in the transaction code field and in case of table lookups also what they are saying is that input data comply with predetermined criteria in existence check also they are saying that the data are entered uh, correctly and agreeing with the valid predetermined criteria and in table lookups also they are saying similar thing input data comply with predetermined criteria maintained in a computerized table so existence check and table lookups are kind of similar but what exactly is the difference what exactly is the thin difference between both the two things is that you know in case of existence check now let's say for example there is an id number there is an identification number or maybe you know for your for your income tax purpose for your taxation purpose you know you'll be having one identification number identification number of individual identification numbers of company identification number of partnership firms all right so you know you can't make your own id number if you want to enter your id number you really can't make your own id id number that id number should already be existing it should agree with the valid predetermined criteria also and that number should be you know existing somewhere all right so you really can't make your own identification number now what is table lookups table lookups it, it is also similar to existence check but only the use of table lookups it's it is somewhat you know different in table lookups what exactly you are doing your input data should comply with a predetermined uh, predetermined criteria maintained in a computerized table of possible values for example the input clerk enters a city code enters a pin code or city code this number corresponds with a computerized table that matches the code to a city name what exactly they are trying to say uh, with this example now let's understand that with the help of an example now let's say tomorrow you know i'm having my website i'm having my website and tomorrow if i want to you know uh, sell my own book physical copy if i want to sell my own physical copy of my own book you know and uh, let's say what i'm doing is that this physical copy version is only you know available within india is only available within india right so what i'm doing is that i'm going to my store section or i'm creating a store tab you know in my website i don't know if you have ever created you know a uh, website i mean if you have ever designed a website you know nowadays it's very easy to design a website you know you can use a lot of plugins you know i mean you can use wordpress and through wordpress you know there are a lot of you know um, uh, available plugins you know where, wherein you don't really have to you know sit and write write down the codes everything is already ready made you just have to just take down the you know the templates and you, and you can create a website you know within an hour it's that easy all right now let's say for example you know i have created a new tab store section store section for the book all right now also there is a store section but you know tomorrow i have created a new section for book a store section for book all right now i want to add a a feature that you know a person can you know enter their pin code to check whether that product is available in their locality and if it is available how much time how much expected time uh, how much time is expected for the delivery now basically what you can do is you can add a plugin what is plugin plugin are ready made you know ready made feature i mean someone has already written down the codes it's it's a ready made function ready made feature available you can just take down that feature and you can include in your website all right so what i've done i want to add this feature now what that plugin will do what that plugin will do basically i want this this function i want this feature in my website wherein any person any student you know any client can check 
any customer can check whether that particular product whether it is available in their location and if it is available how much uh, you know expected time for delivery all right so what i'm doing what i'm doing i, I have multiple option i have multiple option what i can do i can you know add the pin codes manually so you know uh, once you install that plugin you know it will have the option pin code you can you know you can upload the pin codes you can make a you can make an excel sheet you can make an excel sheet for example you know this pin code city state delivery in two days four days uh, seven to eight days you know so you can make a list you can directly upload you know at once or 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 you can even or you can even you know upload the uh, you can add the pin codes one by one manually all right so what i've done i'm entering a pin code city name then state then you know delivery within days two to four days or you know uh, one week or two weeks all right and then i'll i'm clicking on add pin code all right now what will happen what will happen now basically this this uh, feature has been added in your website now once the customer comes and when uh, when the customer enters any pin code it automatically checks i mean uh, once they uh, click on this button check button it will check whether that product is whether is it available and if it is available how much time will it take for getting it delivered all right so basically what it is doing it is a table lookup already a table is existing there is already a pre predetermined table there is already a table existing all right and once you enter that code now that code that code will be i mean the system will verify that particular code whether that particular code whether is it existing in that table if it is existing it will give you that yes yes we do deliver in this particular area and the expected time is within 4 to 5 days but in case in case if the code which you are entering if it doesn't match with that table if it doesn't match with that table it will give you a message that sorry we don't deliver in your particular location in your location all right so so this is what table lookup is all about and in fact this is the example which they have given this is the example which they have given what they are saying is that for example the input clerk enters a city code of 1 to 10 this number should correspond with the computerized table that matches the code to a city name all right so basically you are looking in a table you are entering something and you are looking whether that is you know that whether that is there in the table or not similar is the existence check also similar is the existence check a uh, where you know the data enter should be correct it should be existing and should agree with the valid predetermined criteria